What's up everybody, it is Royal J and I am back again with another video and this time I am unboxing my new vinyl Janet Jackson control so let's go right ahead and get into it I am a beginner of collecting vinyl records and it's exciting you know what I'm saying it's exciting I never thought that I would be collecting vinyls before I never really had an interest in it but I was on Twitter and I saw like different people on my timeline collecting vinyl records and I was just like hmm I want to do that you know and I never really was and I'm not gonna lie I just started it like collecting them I have like over 10 vinyl records that I'm waiting for right now this is the second one the very first one I have is um Destiny's Child the writings on the wall it was the 20th anniversary so Urban Outfitters we pressed some and I got one of them and it's over there and this box is actually Janet Jackson's Control album. So it only it don't only have the vinyl in it because I see they put it in this big old box. It doesn't only have the vinyl in it. It also has the um, I brought a record cleaner. So yeah, but I'm about to open it and let me see. All right. I'm not going to get um, Janet's entire uh, discovery because I'm not going to lie. I'm only getting the albums that I love and that I like. Um, and that's for all artists, you know. But I love Control. My favorite albums from Janet are mostly hers, the ones that was from the 90s, really. Anything after that, ugh, I could take it or leave it. <laughs> But I'm getting all my favorite ones first, and once I get all my favorite albums, then I will go into getting like the rest of the artist discovery. So, you know. But I just wanted to get my favorite ones first, then get the other ones. So, this was the record cleaner that I brought, just in case you guys may want to know. It right here. What is it? Big Fudge Record Care System Number One Record Cleaner Kit, and it was Amazon Choice, so I got it. Uh, Okay, so this is it here. Ooh, new item. All right, this is it. <laughs> Y'all kind of nervous to open it. I don't know why. It feels very light compared. I, I don't know. This might just be a one disc. I think it is one disc. But this is my writings on the wall uh, record right here. So. This one feels much heavier than this one, but I, cause this one has two discs, so that's probably why. This one, I don't think it has two discs in it. I don't think so, cause there wasn't really that many songs on the album. Okay. Oh, I see it. I see it, I see it, I see it. Uh, I don't even wanna look. I don't even wanna look. I don't wanna look. Y'all look first. Look at that. Look at that. That is so beautiful. This is, I don't even want to open it. Like, I don't know. I don't want to open it. I'm going to buy some more plastics that I could put over these uh, from Amazon. So that way, okay, which way does this open so I can... Uh, This one has control, nasty. What have you done for me lately? You can be mine. Number two, the pleasure principle. When I think of you, he doesn't know I'm alive. Let's wait a while. Funny how time flies when you are having fun. So before I open to this, I want to say my favorites would definitely have to be control. The reason why I say I love control was because it was just Janet just coming into her own and finding her own voice and finding her own passion and not allowing anyone or her parents or anybody to dictate her sound or dictate her as a human. Like she was just like, no, I'm gonna take control of my own life. I know what I wanna do. I wanna find my own voice. I wanna do my own thing. I don't wanna be controlled. 
I don't want to be tamed. I just want to do whatever I want to do and have fun and just be responsible for me. And I feel like we all come into that we all come into that point in life where our parents don't understand like you know we want to take control of our life a little bit more we want to do more things on our own and make our own decisions in our own way and i just feel like sometimes parents don't understand that you know they don't they don't want to understand it they do because they experienced it and they went through it but they don't want us to do it so that's one thing that i love um nasty is my second favorite because i love I love how she just, when you read the title, you would think she's going to talk about something sexual because it's Janet Jackson. When you listen to the song, it's the total opposite of what your expectations would be if you was just to read the title of the song. So we're just talking about boys being nasty, boys, you know, trying to take advantage and try to be slick and it's not happening. So I love that, you know, because we don't really have songs like that today. So I love that. Um, what have you done for me lately? I love What Have You Done For Me Lately. It's a fun record. You know, it's just like, I love the intro at the beginning where it was just like, you know, her and her friend was talking and her friend was just like, what have he done for you lately? And she was just like, got quiet and then boom, we got to the song. But it was like, she came to her senses and listened to her friend and her friend let her know like, he ain't no good for you. Like he ain't done nothing for you lately. Like he ain't provided for you in any way, shape or form. So move on, you know? So I love that. Um, you can be mine. I don't even remember how that song sounds. I'm gonna be honest with you. Pleasure Principle. Ooh is my favorite it's my favorite i don't know why i just love that song one day i was in a car and the radio station here in miami they, they played uh the, one of the djs they played the song and they kind of speed it up and mixed it and everything and i was just like oh that was a long time ago and i was like oh i love this song like what's the name of it and when i found out it was janet because they used a different beat so when i found out it was uh the pleasure principle i went downloaded the song i was like oh my god so i had got into the album i probably was like a teenager at the time i don't remember but i love that one when i think of you is not my favorite but i do like that song i think it's pretty cool um he doesn't know i'm alive that song is kind of like weird to me i don't know why because why wouldn't he know you're alive <laughs> you know but it is it's cute let's wait a while is a classic it's amazing uh, funny how time flies when you're having fun is amazing. So all of my favorites so far is Control, um, What Have You Done For Me Lately, The Pleasure Principle, Let's Wait A While, and Funny How Time Flies. So basically the whole album, if you want to be technical. So I'm about to open it so we can look at the disc. I don't know. I just love, like, it's just art like artful i love that so this is it this is it wait is this something else in here no okay so this is wow i never saw that i never owned the only like physical copy of an album from janet that i have is the 20 20 year album that's the only one I have. So this is pretty cool that I finally have like the physical copy of Control. So we have, this is the credits for the people who wrote the song. Um, Control, Nancy, okay, that's the name of the songs, the producers. I like to thank everyone who, has in, who was involved with this album. Special thanks to Joe Jackson Productions. A very special thanks to John McCain, McLean, I'm sorry for giving me the inspiration and drive to do anything I want and for being there when I needed him most. I love you, a special thanks to mother for ha for loving me and for sticking by my side through this project. No matter what it was I had decided to do, I love you very much, mother. And a very special thanks to Jimmy and Terry for making this album a great experience, for helping express the way I feel through this album and for showing Melanie and me such a great fun while working on this project i miss you guys so much love you jane this album is dedicated to scoop i love you oh oh jenny looks so pretty she looks so pretty right there so let's see the disc oh i gotta be careful oh so it's it's, it's a black disc 
I got it off of Amazon, by the way. It was like 15 or $16, if I'm not mistaken. So. Okay, this is side one, and then this is side two. Wow, this is so cool. Hmm. So this is it, you guys. This is the disc. I love it. Cut it up. I love it. I I brought a vinyl player, not a vinyl player. I brought a turntable. I'm sorry. I brought a turntable and it was the Victrola and it wasn't working. It kept skipping my records. It just kept doing weird stuff. So I sent it back and I have a new turntable that is supposed to be coming. I don't know when they haven't given me a date yet, but I can't wait to have it so I can play the record. So I can't play it right now, but when I do get it, I'm going to make sure that I record me playing the, the, the vinyl and add it on to the video so you guys can see it. And yeah, that's it. So Janet is going back in and she's going right on the side with the writers on the wall. So these are the only two vinyls that I own as of right now. The other ones are coming and I can't wait. I can't wait. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make